A Gallatin man is about to perform a daring Halloween stunt. It involves handcuffs and a tank full of water. Channel 4's James Lewis is live at Opry Mills, where we are just seconds away from this death-defying feat. James? Demetria, he's poised to go down into the water right now. This is water. This is a, a, a chamber that's two and a half feet by two and a half feet by six feet. They're going to drop him down there. He's suspended by his ankles. He has shackles around his wrists. He's going to be lowered into the water. There he goes now, right now. Let's start the timer. They say he'll make it out in two minutes. Now, there is, this is not a trick. This is not, this is just a, a better abil ability to escape. Now, on the top, you can see there's locks up there. That's where his feet are locked in place there. He's got shackles on his hands down at the bottom. They're now going to put this piece of cloth up there. This is part of the escape. He says he'll be out of there in two to two and a half minutes. An explanation, this is the underwater torture cell. And over here on the left, you can see his assistant. That's Monica. She's got a sledgehammer there just in case he doesn't escape in time so he won't drown. She's poised to hit that against the glass and let the water drip out. This was the underwater torture cell. This is a trick that was popularized by Houdini. He performed this many times. Now, he actually died on the 31st of October. That was a, this Halloween. That's when he died. A bit of history about this. He did not die while performing the trick, as it was portrayed in the movie with Tony Curtis. He actually died of peritonitis because he had a perforated, uh, uh, he had appendicitis. His appendix burst. All right, he's got about another minute left if he's going to make in time. Some background on Houdini, by the way. He was born Eric Weiss was actually Hungarian, came to the United States and was a magician and later became an escape artist. And that is actually what Jason Michaels is doing here. Jason is 26 years old. He's from Gallatin. He's a very personable young man. We talked to him. He said he's just determined to be the very best possible. So he is just described as an up and coming young magician. Let's see if he's going to make it out in time. Here we go. They're about to drop the cloth. Let's see if this is a long time to go without a gulp of air. Let's see how he does. All right, he's still in the water. All right, his hands are now loose. You can see his hands coming loose there. And let's see how he escapes. This is not a trick. He's not been given any air at all. So he's been holding his breath all this while. All right, so he got the shackles off. Now the question is, how does he get out of there? Because his feet are still hooked at the top. He's locked in place with a piece of metal on top of this. There's a large electric winch overhead that lowered him in place. They've got the red cloth hiding what he's doing inside. Is he going to escape? Or are they going to have to use the sledgehammer to keep him from drowning? It's a long time to go without air. Any minute now, we expect him to either break the glass and let out the water or, and there he is. There he is, he did it. He's taking a big gulp of air. Jason Michaels has done it. 26 years old from Gallatin, Tennessee. He's performed. This is the first time publicly he's performed this. He's rehearsed it before, but this is it. I'm James Lewis reporting live from Opry Mills. Wow, that man deserves a snowbird bank, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> Thank you, James.